pretty excited. Reached out to one of my good buddies on Instagram the other day, Adam Sicklids, and he were talking to me about a guy in Pittsburgh who breeds some quality fish. So we're gonna go to his house and we're gonna take a look and while we're there we might get some fish, so let's go and have a gander. So here's the first group, and this is a group of F1 Walteri. Yeah. F1 Walteri, you don't really see that too often, and this guy's just absolutely awesome. The coloration of the yellow, the blue in the face, and the crazy long fins. Unbelievable. And this group here is actually from the same line as the fish that was entered in the ACA 2016. Don't know if you remember that fish, but unbelievable here we've got a Jacob Freiberge that's by himself because he's a little too aggressive fun fact about that guy John's wife actually got him from PetSmart so for all the doubters you can actually get some pretty nice fish at the big box stores and in this tank we've got an absolutely mad split gene and gara group is that a smaller species or are they just no no <laughs> that's that's going to be what I consider show quality yeah. What time's ready? Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's unreal. <laughs> he's crazy. And to give you guys a bit of perspective, because sometimes it's hard on video, this guy is max two inches. Here down in this 20 long, we've got 44. Lunacara Luanda and these guys are about an inch long I would say and this is the father this strain is actually a part of Dave Hale's strain if you don't know Dave he owns something fishy in Cleveland Ohio and John actually got this male and a group of females that is since sold from Dave around one and a half, two years ago. And this is the male now that John's no longer wanting to keep. So if you want to purchase this guy, leave it in the comments and maybe I'll have a word with him. <laughs> but you've got to be quick because I am strongly debating getting this guy. Here we've got another F1 Walter A from the same group as you've just seen in the 75. And this guy is actually another F1 Walter A. And these boys, what? About 3.5 to 4 inches, I would say, but the fins on them, I mean, using the flashlight, you can see the fins a little bit better. And the highlights in the body with the yellow and the blue. Oh. And then you take into account the fins that are just crazy elongated. Got that nice little white trim on them. Really, really nice fish. And they're also F1, which is something a little bit special, a little bit different. Hmm. Pretty, pretty excited. Um, first of all, thanks to John for letting me and my buddy Pittsburgh Pets come into your house and check out your fish. Your fish are awesome. Adam definitely weren't lying. Um, and we, we obviously can't really go anywhere of such quality and not pick up some fish. So we... Uh, we got three fish. Two of them are two of them are pretty small, just kind of like a little project for me. And uh, the other one's also a, a decent sized fish, and he's going to be a a big project for me. Um, so driving home now, pretty buzzing with how that just went. Really excited to show you all what I got. So I'll check in when I get home, and uh, these guys. In the tank so here we are back in the fish room i've not showed you this thing yet but this is a little five and a half gallon that i set up the other day as i got some more blue neon fry and in this bag we've got two little units that are the luanda this is just a little side project for me and i'm fairly confident that at least one of them's a male so we're gonna grow them out a little bit and see if we can get a few males which for me is the best part about keeping Africans. 
and in this bag we've got a mystery fish. We've got the younger blue neon in here and some females, we're going to have to separate them sadly and put the females back in the 55 until we get more tanks in the coming months. Here with the Luanda after we acclimated them, just checking out the five and a half gallon and they'll be decent in there for a little bit until they're big enough to put in the 55. Here, the four blue neons that we had in the other tank are in here. All moved over pretty well and they were eating within the hour, so that's always a good sign. And here is my new F1 Walter A. And this guy has only been in the tank maybe 30 minutes. As you can see, his fins are just crazy. The coloration has dropped a little bit, but that's bound to happen. New tank, new environment, new water. And on the other side of the tank is the younger blue neon that I'm still working on and seeing if I want to breed him in the future. But the Walter Eye for right now is going to be in this holding tank for the next few months and I'm just going to feed him good, fatten him up and oh, there's the cat. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. John's also got the breeding group of F1 Walter Eye that I'm going to get some fry of when the time comes. He's actually got two holding females right now so hopefully in the next three or four months I'll have some juveniles of these and then I can get breeding them. That's going to be my second breeding group once we eventually get to the new house and I can get more tanks. So really excited. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like, subscribe down below and leave a comment on what you think to the fish that I've just picked up this evening. I'll leave you with this little clip of the blue neon trying to get a little bit frisky in the 55. Thanks for watching.